All right, we're going to see if, now it says that we're now live. <clears throat> we'll see if it uh, starts to stream here. It usually takes a couple of minutes, or at least a minute, for it to actually go live here. It says that we're live. Ah, okay, very good. I am. Let me refresh my screen here. Yep, says that we're live. I can see it now. Let me turn down the sound here. All right. Let me make this a little bit bigger and see see what it does here. Oh, Sterling says the stream is good. All right, very good. Very good. So, hello everyone in YouTube land. Sorry we had to cancel the meeting. Uh, as you can probably tell, there's there's ice on the road. Uh, it's gonna um, if it hasn't started freezing yet, it's gonna start to freeze. Um, so we just kind of figured that uh, since everything else was being closed and being canceled, we'd uh, follow suit and cancel the the the, uh, the meeting. But what we wanted to do was we wanted to give you an update on Winterfest. It's one week away from tonight actually from about uh, almost 12 hours ago, where we start with the, the radio symposium at uh, 8 a.m. on Friday, January 24th. So Rebecca is here with me, uh, KC9CIJ, and she is going to present on Winterfest, and we're just going to go through the slides, and we're just, uh, Rebecca and I are just going to have a dialogue. If you uh, have any questions, put them in the the chat down below, and uh, as they pop up, we'll answer them, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how this works. So, Rebecca, you want to take it away? Talk about Winterfest. Oh, hang on. We're getting no audio from you, Rebecca. Uh oh. Hmm. No, 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 no. We're we're getting. I'm getting audio. We're not getting audio from the stream. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if we can we can fix this. I'm not really sure how we can. Um. Hang on. Uh, Sterling, where are you? I I need you here to uh. So I kind of figured that this might be an issue. Uh, let's see. Unmute. Sterling says unmute desktop audio too. Ah, okay. Hang on. All right. Say something, Rebecca. Um. Well, I unmuted audio too, and I'm not getting Rebecca. Well, uh, you know what? Let's just go through the slides, and I will, um, I will. You, if you, if I make a mistake, Rebecca, you can, uh, you can correct me. So, uh, hang on. Sterling says no. Nope. Click gear on desktop audio and select the sound card you're hearing it from. Oh, okay. Hang on. We're getting technical information just right. Properties, you're seeing all this stuff. Um, let's see, I'm getting that from not my hearing from. Let's see. Well, I'm getting it from default. Say something, Rebecca. Uh, it's no. Let's see. 
filters, properties, advanced audio properties. Uh, that doesn't look like it's it. Oh my gosh, it's it's grand whenever you've never done this before, too. Uh, let's see. Desktop audio 2. Oh, hang on. Um, these speakers down, display audio. Well, let's try this. All right, now say something, Rebecca. No, no, okay. Desktop audio. One more time, Rebecca. Mm, no, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. Okay. Hmm. Well, something to figure out for next time. Ah, George said maybe Sterling should have hosted it. Well, that is true. Sterling has done a lot more streaming than I have. <laughs> that is true. All right, well, let's just go. Yeah, so let's just go through these slides real quick. Um, so the committee members, uh, myself, Pam, KE0OWG, Dale Holloway, K4EQ, and Rebecca. KC9CIJ. Those are the core members of the committee. So we've got two uh, sites that you can go to. The first site is the main Winterfest site. That's where you get all of the info from. And the store is obviously where you... Um, is that correct? Is that... No. No. Yeah, so go to the yeah, go to the first um, the first uh, uh, URL there. That will get you into the, the correct location. Um, and everything is on the Winterfest site right there. And uh, you'll be able to buy tickets, find uh, find the schedule, find everything that you want for Winterfest. All right, go to the next slide, Rebecca. All right. West Sham Symposium, uh, the W9DYB Symposium. So 9 a.m., Robert uh, Nichols is going to be talking about a high-performance SDR receiver. 9.45 is Bob Sherwood. He hosts uh, the uh, – if you've never gone to uh, Sherwood Engineering, they have uh, – they rate all of the, um, the receivers. So he is a very – prominent name in uh, HR receiver performance. Bob Heil, K9EID, he's going to talk about understanding human speech articulation. Dave Beckler, N0SAP, is going to talk about the Collins S2 line and the history and evolution. Uh, Nick Tulsa, he is going to talk about central electronics and the history of West Ham. Uh, David Asaf, W5XU is going to talk about some Drake information, low power and why. Bob Allison from the ARRL lab is going to talk about the uh, story behind AM and the Gates BCIT. I'm really sure what that is. I, I guess it's uh, maybe some type of um, uh, electrical component. And then Lynn Fisk is going to talk about vintage radio and homebrewing adventures. The West Sham Symposium is uh, geared towards uh, the home brewing, the history of amateur radio, single sideband, and um, basically just the history of, of um, amateur radio. So that's what those uh, symposium forums are geared towards. And I think we've got one more, right, Rebecca? Oh, that's it. Okay, so moving on. Ah, the, Rebecca says, you can't hear Rebecca because I messed up the audio for those of you in the chat. But uh, the daughter of uh, Wes Shalm, uh, what is her name again, Rebecca? Diane Shum Volk is going to be at Winterfest, and I'm sure that she's probably going to be at the, um, at the Friday um, forums. 
All right. Um, oh, George says old broad old old gate broadcaster transmitter that they put on the ham bands on eighty and one sixty. I guess that's the gates BCIT. It's a transmitter that they put on the ham bands on eighty and one sixty. Okay. Um, so talking about the ARL and DX banquet. So we have 108 people signed up for the banquet, which is amazing. We were hoping for 60. We have 80. So we are very pleased at the turnout. We have uh, starting out, we've got uh, um, Ward Silver. Okay, first, yeah, thank you, Rebecca. So at 5 p.m., we've got a social hour. So you want to arrive between 5 and 6. Dinner will be served at 6. We've got Ward B. He's going to be the MC. He's going to talk for a little bit, and then he's going to introduce Craig Thompson. Craig was part of the Pit Karen uh, VP6R D Expedition in October 2019. He's got a whole uh, presentation about Pit Karen and some audio files that I think you'd, you'd find interesting. Ward's going to get up and introduce. Next slide. Uh, Rod. Rod is our. Midwest Division uh, ARL rep. He is um, Rebecca, what? Uh, Midwest Division um, director, sorry, director. So he's going to give a quick update on the stats and some, some information about the Midwest Division. Ward's going to get back up and say a few words. And then we have Howard Mickle. WB2ITX. He is the ARL CEO, and he's going to talk about all the new things that uh, that's going on in the ARL. If you've no not noticed, they have uh, introduced a new magazine, a new podcast. Uh, they've got some other tricks up their sleeve. So they are going to um, they're going to talk about. Uh, he's going to talk about what's going to go on next year and the years to come. Uh, in the ARL. So it should be a good banquet. Again, uh, 108 people. That is way more than we thought. You can't get tickets anymore because we had to give uh, numbers to the banquet. So the those that bought tickets, thank you for that. Um, if not, maybe we'll catch you next year. So uh, let's see. Winterfest location. So if you haven't been to Winterfest before, it's over in Collinsville, Illinois at the Gateway Convention Center. Uh, if you put in Gateway Convention Center into Google or to Apple Maps, it should get you there. It's only about 15 minutes away from downtown St. Louis, so and it's a very easy drive and to, to get off the highway and get into the convention center. So located at 60 Gateway Drive, Collinsville, Illinois. Um, so if you're coming to the West Sham event on Friday, that's where the symposium is going to be held. And then also, obviously, Winterfest will be held there starting at 8 a.m. on Saturday. So here is a map of the floor. So as you can tell, you bring your, Rebecca, bring your cursor up as you come into the lobby. So you come into the lobby from, yep, from that location, you'll park out front, and then the will call will be right in front of um, right in front of the door. So right where Rebecca's got her mouse. That's where, where will call will be. That's where you pick up all of your tickets. That's where you pick up your contest college ticket. Um, raffle tickets can be bought there. Anything that you need ticket-wise will be held at will call. And then we've got the center A ballroom. We've got the center B ballroom. And then also ballroom A, and that's going to be primarily contests, or I'm sorry, primarily education alley, right, Rebecca? Yep, education. Rebecca, for those of you, uh, we had we had an issue with uh, Rebecca's audio. Uh, education alley and DNL uh, DNL antenna will be in ballroom A. So then, uh, let's go back. One slide, Rebecca. <clears throat> Let's show. Did you show them where the the uh, the forums are? Okay, gotcha. So let's let's uh, move forward here. All right. So here's the floor plan. 
as we as we speak tonight. Um, so Rebecca, keep me honest here. We have got uh, the flea market over here on the anything in green is the flea market. Anything in purple is a group or a club. Anything in blue here is um, a commercial vendor. Everything in, uh, what color is that? Mauve. Rebecca says mauve. It's uh, Education Alley, and we've got the robotics, the first robotics coming, and they're going to show off their stuff. And then we've got SLSRC tables up there where the raffle is, is located at, and then we've got club tables uh, at the end of uh, row E16, if you can see that. So as of right now, you can see uh, a column F16 is not shaded in. That is... Okay, so we've sold three of those tables. Those are those are extra tables that if we did not sell those, we were going to remove that that uh, that row and we we're going to give more space to the flea market. But we have how many tickets or how many tables left to sell? We have 13 tables left to sell for a total of how many tables? 206 tables if we sell all the tables and we sell a few a, t a few tables uh, the day of Winterfest people want more tables so we're expecting to sell out Winterfest this year last year how many tables did we sell Rebecca we sold we, so we sold 172 tables last year and currently we're at 196 so we almost have sold 20 more tables from this year to or from last year to this year, so that's that's great. We uh, we have people coming all the way from Texas and Indiana and Nebraska to to put tables uh, in Winterfest. So these, yep. So this was as of a couple of days ago. We have sold more tables. We're up to 196. Uh, like we said, we have every intention of of selling out Winterfest. Uh, and not being able to to sell any more tables, which is great. That's uh, that's our goal. So here are our commercial vendors. Let me check the chat here if we've got anybody. Um, oh, Bill, yeah, bummed that you can't be there, but uh, yeah, we'll count we'll count you in next year. So. Um, So we've got ra uh, radio accessory. Oh, geez, I can't talk tonight. Amateur accessories are going to be there. Associated Radio, Batteries America, uh, DNL Antenna, Debco Electronics is going to be there. They are from uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, they are from Cincinnati. They are um, very much like Tower Electronics. They've got uh, uh, different uh, connectors and antennas. So. There'll be a, a, a good addition. Early alert. This is a tornado alert system. We thought that that went well with Winterfest, so we allowed them to, to grab a table. Flex Radio is coming. They, um, if you don't know who Flex Radio is, they are a huge radio manufacturer. They make great radios. They have decided to come up from Texas. They are located in Austin, so we are very excited to have Flex Radio. Uh, gold. Metal Ideas are just going to be there. Hamtubes.com will be there. Uh, Rocco. Rebecca Rocco does what? Okay, Rocco is from Texas. We'll find out when... Ah, they have a big flea market, but uh, they're also a commercial vendor and sell uh, commercial vendor type things. Uh, yep, yeah, S&D Tubes, that's uh, Mike Marks. From down south, he'll be there. Tower Electronics, like uh, always, is there. And West Mountain Radio will be there also. All right, Education Alley. So we've got AMSAT, Arch Reactor. We've got uh, um, uh, Steve, or not Steve. Um, uh, his name escapes me. Um, 
He lives in St. Charles. He's going to be presenting on the Arden Mesh Network. Bradley University, their uh, university club, is going to come down and do some pre uh, presenting on, on their club and college, uh, or operating on the college level. CERT will be there. Uh, the First Tech Challenge, that's the robotic people, uh, clubs that will be there uh, doing a demonstration on their robotics. KiCad, so KiCad is a uh, program that you can design circuits in, which is really cool. Southwestern High School will be there. They do a lot of ballooning, so we'll be uh, doing it. They will be doing a presentation on ballooning. We've got the balloons. We've got the Telegraph Club. They will be there. Um, uh, and we've got a CW speed test that we're that they're going to help out in. And so if you uh, if you know CW and you want to uh, uh, get on that, we've got a small prize for this the person who uh, who who copies CW the fastest. So that's going to be cool. We've got uh, Neil Rapp from Indiana, uh, WPG um, WB9 VPG. He does the Youth on the Air Region Two along with Sterling N0 SSC. They're going to be there for Youth on the Air, which is very cool. They've got a Yoda camp coming up this summer <clears throat> that uh, they'll talk more about. And then Tom Laybourne from Woodbridge, Wood, Wood Ridge Middle School, he will be talking about his uh, ARIS, A -R -I -I -S, Amateur Radio uh, International Space Station contact that they completed in December of this year. So that's going to be cool. Here are the, the groups. So we've got Arch, the, the amateur or the antique radio collectors. We've got Aries, uh, the St. Louis Metro, and then also the amateur are the M Madison County, <clears throat> the Boeing ARC, Egyptian Radio Club, Lewis and Clark, um, the Missouri Valley DX, uh, contest and uh, our contest club will be there. Missouri Digital Group, George will be there uh, along uh, with his pals and the uh, OK, OKWA uh, Valley Amateur Radio Club. Some more clubs here, uh, C CQWA in St. Louis, the Salvation Army, SLARC, St. St. Charles ARC, the uh, St. Clair Amateur Radio Club, St. Louis Amateur T uh, St. Louis Amateur Television Society, uh, the St. Louis QRP Society, Jeff will be there, um, N0MII, and uh, Mars UA, USAF. So like every year, we have uh, QSL card checking. So if you need your cards checked for um, for um, awards, bring your cards, and uh, that will be done by the Mississippi Valley DX and Contest Club. And uh, we've got some links down there that uh, if you want to, to grab, uh, go back there, Rebecca. Um, so those are the award links if you want to check any of those out. All right. Forums. So here are the forum locations. We have three uh, forum rooms this year, Illini, the Marquette, and the Mississippian. They are down by the entryway. You come out of the banquet halls and into the hallway, and you get into them by going through the lobby and then, um, then filing into the correct uh, forum room. And Rebecca, remind me, all of the West Shalm forums will be in the Mississippian room. Yep. So if you're coming to the West Shalm forums, uh, you'll want to go into the Mississippian room. VE testing. So of course we've got VE testing. It starts at 830. The fee is $15, just like any other VE testing. Uh, you need to have your two forms of ID. If you want more about v VE testing, visit uh, Cliff Cave's um, testing team website at cliffcaveve.com. 
Ah, it's in the, oh yes, VE, thank you, Rebecca. VE testing is in the Illini room. For, for those of you just joining, we've had some audio issues with Rebecca. It's, it's my fault. So um, I'm doing the presentation and Rebecca is in my ear here telling me what I'm, I'm saying wrong. Uh, here's the forum schedule. We have three forum rooms all day of forums for Winterfest attendees, but there is a catch here. So in the Illini room, we've got VE testing, and then we've got kit building starting at 10 a.m. with Joe Eisenberg. He's coming down from Nebraska, and um, you have to register for the kit building. It's on our website. It's $15. For the kit building, it is you're going to be building a power supply, and he's going to lead that kit building. So either you can pay for it at the day of the show, or you can pay for it um, whenever you get your tickets um, for Winterfest on our website. Sitting seating is limited. Rebecca says, "I think we've got tw twelve people, right?" Yep. Okay. Then at noon, we've got Neil Rapp, WB9, VPG, and Sterling Mann, N0, SSC. They're going to be doing a youth forum in the Illini and I room. In the Marquette room, we start at 9, and that uh, Rod, our Midwest director, K0DAS, is going to do the ARL forum. And um, we've got Kermit Carlson. We've got Carl from the, the Central Division, we've got Rod and uh, the Nebraska District Manager, I for, or the Nebraska State Manager. State Manager? Yeah, he's coming down. And then obviously um, um, Bob Allison from the ARL Lab, and then uh, Howard Mickle, uh, WB2ITX, will be in that forum. So that is the forum if you want to talk about ARL and ask uh, the division directors and the ARL CEO any questions, uh, that's the forum to go to. Tony Falcone, the Director of Emergency Management for Madison, Illinois. He's going to do a presentation at 10 in the Marquette Room. And then Carl, I'm going to butcher Carl's name here, Luke, Lucas Schwab. I butchered that, but everyone gets the 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 idea. K9LA, he's going to host an antenna forum at 11. At 12, we've got uh, Mark from West Mountain Radio. He's going to do DC power tech, distribution, batteries, and solar. And then 1 p.m., Kermit, he is the uh, division director for the central division, W9XA. He's going to present on the ARL electromagnetic compatibility uh, EMC committee. Again, in, in 2 o'clock, Mel Witten is going to pr uh, present on digital amateur radio. And then John Yotis, uh, he's going to talk about bureau operations and QSLing in the 21st century. If you have questions, post them down, down in the chat, and we'll, uh, we'll take questions and answer them um, in the order we receive them here. In the Mississippian room, the forums, we've got Jeff from uh, the QRP group. He's going to talk about QRP radio. Steve, actually, I don't think it's Steve anymore. I think he had another obligation, but um, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Mike Walker from Flex Radio is going to talk about uh, Flex Radio at 10 a.m. Bob is going to talk about uh, how important is equaliz equalization at 11. Bob Allison from the ARL lab is going to talk about amplitude modulation. Uh, Mickey Lee at one is going to talk about severe weather and detection technologies. Bill from Illinois Public Safety is going to talk about OXCOM. And Bill WB9TZC is going to talk about Saturn at three. All right, so now we get into Contest College. Contest College is something new for Winterfest, and it's $25 uh, for Contest College, and it starts at 1 p.m. in the Illini room and at 4 p.m. Um, in the other room. So I'm going to present at 1 p.m. talking about uh, welcoming 
the, the students. And then contesting 101, we got Craig, K9CT. He has a monster station up at uh, Peoria, Illinois, and has won many, many contests. He's going to talk about station design and automation. Ward, N0A, and that's supposed to be N0AX. Uh, he's going to talk about um, contest strategies for Midwest Little Pistols and Medium Guns. And then Bob Heil, K9EID, is going to talk about single sideband and how to get uh, more articulate audio to pull those stations out of the noise for contests. Uh, Mike Marks is um, going to talk about uh, CW contesting tips and tricks. Joe, W0FY, is going to talk about VHF contesting. And then at 7 p.m. across the board on all three forums, we are going to have a, a, just a Q&A session. <clears throat> so in the Marquette room, starting at 4, Craig is going to talk about uh, SO2R, that's two operate our single operator two radio contesting that is basically operating with two radios at the same time and getting the most out of uh, the <clears throat> out of your contesting um, skills Ken Norris KK9N is going to talk about contest logging software and then Ken is also going to talk about remote contesting at 6 and then we're going to have a Q&A at 7 <clears throat> And then Carl is going to talk about contesting from the DX side. So if you've ever been um, the, the hunted versus the chaser, uh, he's going to talk about how to handle those big pileups and uh, basically how to run in a contest. And he's also going to uh, talk about contest propagation at five. And then I'm going to contest or I'm going to talk about a, a top topic um, I haven't picked yet. I know it's a week a week away, but the I think the uh, uh, my topic um, is called uh, "Start Small, Win Big," in uh, uh, and the website is updated. John, I see your um, uh, Richard asked, "Will the slides from this presentation be available later for viewing and printing?" Rick. Rick, are you talking about Contest College, or are you talking about the slides that we're, we're presenting now? And then John says, will, con will the Contest College schedule be updated on the Winterfest website? Yes, it is updated on the Winterfest website right now. So um, it is the most up-to-date schedule. All right. <clears throat> so what we need, let me take a little drink here. So we need lots of volunteers. Oh, Rick says the slides that we are now viewing. Yeah, we can put them on the um, on the website for for later. Um, so volunteers, we need lots of volunteers on Saturday. I, we are very short on volunteers on Saturday. If you um, if you volunteer for a three hour shift, you can get into Winterfest for free. So we want, we need volunteers. We need people to man the door. We need people to help, uh, um, help the, the, uh, vendors with bringing stuff into, into the, into the, the, uh, the ballrooms. We need people to take tickets. We need people to, to, uh, man some, um, man the doors. We just need a lot of people on Saturday. So if you're available on Saturday and can step away from, uh, walking around at Winterfest for for a couple hours, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, tell your friends about Winterfest. Word of mouth is the best uh, way to to talk about Winterfest. You know, bring your uh, bring your kids. We'd like to see some more kids at Winterfest. Anybody? Uh, what what is the Rebecca? Under under eighteen with a with an adult gets in free. Um. So bring your kids. We'd love to see more kids at Winterfest and get them uh, involved in ham radio. And it's not all about ham radio. We're going to have a ton of other stuff going on that uh, might entice them to, to get into electronics and talk about uh, STEM and uh, math and science and, and uh, um, things like that. Door prizes. Um, if you have any uh, contacts, at any companies that would like to donate door prizes. We're looking for more door prizes. 
We have quite a few door prizes now, but you know we could always use more door prizes. And then also, if you are interested in helping plan for next year's Winterfest in 2021, we need your help. So come to the table, send uh, myself or Rebecca or the Winterfest team, anybody on the, the board, an email uh, so we can get in touch with you to, to get you on the planning committee. And that is it. Julie had a question. Julie, can contest college benefit non-contesters? Yes. Bill says yes. Oh, yeah. So even operating, you're going to get a lot of stuff out of contest college, even if you're not a contester, even if you are, um, if you are a, um, a DXer or a general contester, you will easily get a lot of information out of uh, Contest College. All right. Anything else? Okay. Well, yep. Thanks, everyone. We're going to conclude the the um, the stream now. Thank you for uh, for attending.